Oh, that's fucking dope. That's cool. Just fall out the fucking car. No big deal. Motherfucker. Scratched all my shit up. I'm going to be polishing the exhaust tips on the AWE track catback. Um, as you can see from that clip, they're nasty black. I'm going to see if, if this Bush's aluminum polish will, will shine it up at all. So we'll get into that. I think I'm going to take the tips off and polish them like in my lap. It'll just be easier. Um, but yeah, we'll get right into that. So you can see how black the tip is. And uh, you can barely even see the logo. So we'll get, see if we can get this polished up. The stuff smells so good. I used to use them to polish my CCWs. I also have the white, white diamond aluminum polish. But uh, the sun had, um, the heat in the shed had separated it. It was like water and then the mixed stuff was um, at the bottom. So when I shook it up, it, it was like really uh, thin. So I was just try that one later, if this doesn't work. But you can see it's already making a huge difference already. I might end up having to redo this with the Dremel. There's a one pass, one pass did with the, the polish. I'm going to continue the polishing process and I'll check back in. So as you can see this is where I got after about 10 minutes of polishing by hand. Um, definitely cleaned up a lot. Um, it's definitely showing some signs of wear like pitting on the on the chrome. But that's to be expected because it's that's to be expected because I've probably had this exhaust for at least two years now. But I'll give you a side by side comparison of a polished one versus one that I have not done yet. So let me pop this next one off and I'll put them next to each other so you can see. This is a really good comparison of the before and the after. Still, God damn it. And again, you can just see how how disgustingly dirty it is. You can't even see the AWE logo. And there's the polished one. side is finished it's all polished up and then you can see the side I haven't done yet you can barely even see them on camera because they're so black so I'll knock those out I'll knock those out real fast and then show you the after I think I need to adjust the pipes because some of them look like there's so many connections in the AWE exhaust that one pipe could be slightly pointed down one tip could be slightly crooked so I'll have to adjust that next time when I'm at the garage, but 
I don't feel like doing that on the ground right here in my driveway. So. So you can see how dirty it is. You hit it with a little bit of polish. It takes most of it right off. I'll show you a little preview. They have the final, final uh, layer of polish on them. I'm gonna hit them with a clean microfiber. And you can see right here, it's got the little polish comes out like a mirror. Ooh. So the final two tips are done. I'm gonna throw them in the car now and tighten them down. It seems like the outside tips have a little bit more uh, wear on them. And when I was saying that the tips were crooked or the pipes were crooked, um, I don't think that was the case. My tips were actually pushed in really far on this side. Like on that side, the tips were clamped on about an inch from the end of the pipe. And on this side, they were clipped on about two inches from the end of the pipe. So I'm not sure what happened there. And also this style of pipe where it has the cuts in it, um, when you clamp it down, it actually closes the pipe so when you take it off, it makes it really hard to put it back on. Because now it's like almost the same size as the pipe you pulled it off of. the tips to final wipe down and then show you guys what it looks like. much better than so much better than the black crusty tips I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, here's a quick little video I couldn't stand looking at the black crusty tips anymore and that's all I got for you guys today thanks Hello.